Zach. Yes. Were there any traditions that you did in prison? Um, I wouldn't say tradition is more custom, yeah, ish. That when you get onto a new wing, that like you get moved wings or you get into a new prison, yeah. You don't unpack yet. You just, you know, you leave your stuff there and you just check out the wing first. You know what I'm saying? For how long? F- maybe half an hour. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Half an hour. You just don't. Just you never know what who's there, what's gonna happen. So like, you just don't pa- unpack and you just scope out the wing, especially if it's, if you move on the wing on association time. Mm. Yeah. Makes sense. Hey everyone, welcome back to Life After Prison with Zach and Jules. And today we're going to be talking about playing catch up when you're released from prison. This is something that we still talk about now and we have spoken to loads of people about. So we wanted to open up the conversation and to see what you guys thought as well. Yeah, it's a it's a reoccurring theme when we discuss kind of this, where it comes up in Life After Prison when we talk to different people and yeah, we've named it playing catch up. Yeah, playing catch up, you know, and if you know, you know, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, yeah. Playing catch up's like, for me, obviously, getting released, the last time I got released, coming up to age 30, you know, that's a big milestone for a man, for anyone anyway, but for uh, especially a man. It's like you're meant to be at a certain place in life. Do you get what I'm saying? So I'm playing catch up, no kids at the time, no, no place that I'm living in, no car, no job. Uh, and you feel like, damn, like I'm not where I'm supposed to be in life. Do you know what I'm saying? So then you feel like you're full, you fell behind and then you're always playing catch up. Because even if you make progress with one thing, there's still the other elements. Like, for example, got your own place. Where's the car and the job? So yours were you know mainly place, place, kids, kids, everything that you thought where you should be is, is these things. Yes. Yeah. Um, at, at that kind of age bracket. Uh, earning uh, earning a decent income. Okay, it's quite a lot actually. Live living independently, like your own place. Yeah. Uh, driving. You know, you know that freedom of hitting the roads when you want to hit the roads. Um, and yeah, and just developing those kind of relationships and networks where you're doing your thing. You know. How long know? do you think that lasted for? You know what? It, it's just I. Fi- I think it's 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 a thing about time for everyone. Is for everyone is different. For me, it's more of uh, the first initial moments you're outside and you've seen the progress that your people have made. Or, um, you know, you bump into someone from years ago and then you're catching up and it's like, oh, damn, okay, you've done a lot still. And, uh, yeah, what are you doing? Oh, yeah, just got out. <laughs> you know the ones there? So it makes you feel like, oh, what am I really doing? But then you've got to put it into perspective as well. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. What about for you? Yeah, I definitely felt like I was playing catch up, um, <clears throat> especially when I first got out. Things financially, definitely that I think that was a really big one for me. Yeah. Um, work, holidays, holidays are massive. I felt like I I missed out on a lot of those holidays, and I was in my early twenties, and this was when everyone was kind of flying do- out. Well, doing it the most, really. Um, and then obviously when, when I got out, it was another few years before I could even yeah. kind of, well, I, could, I wasn't actually able to because I was on license. Yeah. Um, but then, you know, I wasn't, I wasn't financially there as well. So I think with work right now, I don't feel like I'm playing catch up. I okay. love what I'm doing. I'm excited about it. But I definitely still do feel it with holidays. <laughs> <laughs> But you've been quite on a fair few yourself, yeah. though. But I feel like, I think it's a, a thing of, I, f- I do still feel like I missed out. Mm. Um, and that's something that I'm still working on. And um, yeah, st- still financially, you always think, oh, I, maybe I could have been here and I could have been here. I could have been here. So. Yeah, but it's them could have been that will drive you nuts. And uh, oh, 100%. Is. That's why I said, you know, working on it. But yeah. I, I don't think you can help. Do you still feel like you're playing catch up in areas? You know what? Um, yes, I know. Because I, literally I was having this conversation over the weekend, yeah? And I remember saying to someone, my prison years don't count in my life. So they were like, like I'm 33. Yeah? I was like, no, I'm not. 24, I'm 26. 
you know what I'm saying? So you still feel like that? Age? No, but I'm just saying in there, you, you're, 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 as the word I say is like, you're in the pickle juice, you're pickling. So you're staying the same age that you like went to prison. Yeah, but do you, do get you what feel mean? like that? Do I feel like sometimes? Because I don't feel 33. I'm not going to lie to you. I don't feel you like I'm 33. You definitely look it. Oh, thanks. <laughs> I'm just joking. It's all right. You see, you know what I'm saying? It's because someone looks 17 over here just mocking me. Thank you so much. You know what I mean? I'm that's, not far that, behind you that's, anymore, that's Zach. What a nice, that's a nice compliment. You see what I'm saying? I'm actually but, yeah. not that far behind you. you you're okay, okay, so you but, still feel maybe a tiny bit like you are, a but little bit. not really. But what I've come to, the, reali the realisation I've come to, and the point I'm at now is mm -hmm. that I'm in a race with no one. Yeah. I'm in my own race. Of course. In my own lane. And I do believe that too. Yeah. I, I definitely feel that. Um, however, mm -hmm. I think elements are still there and you, I'm still working on stuff. Do yeah. you get what I mean? I don't think, I would have thought by now, no, I went to prison seven years, eight, eight years ago. It's a long time ago. And it's still, there's still effects of that period of time. Um, yeah. I don't know whether it was age or it's just an experience, isn't it? Um, yeah. Well, I never went uni. I missed the uni years. I did them in prison. You know what I'm saying? That's one thing I think, mm, maybe I missed out on that yeah. experience. You know, lads on tour, holidays. Yeah. You know, Ibiza and all the hotspots everyone goes to, you yeah. know, Greece and whatnot. Um, but it just, it is what it is, isn't it? Like, what can you do about it? Can't yeah. change it. So it's just one of those kind of things you, you, you learn to live with, <clears throat> but you kind of have to balance it out with, how well you're doing. And I've also spoken, yeah. yeah, go on. And that's what I'm saying for you. You've got to give yourself credit. You've been on bare holidays since you've been out. You know what I'm saying? Listen, I haven't been on loads. I've been on a few. Yeah. But, but give yourself the credit. Look, yeah, 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 no, and I do. I'm just talking about the things that I still think about mm. that maybe I did miss out on. Um, you know, I, I always wanted that 21st holiday. I hear you. Do you know what I mean? I, 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 I never got that. So... But but this I've spoken to people that haven't been to prison and feel like they wish they did this or yeah, you know yeah, feel yeah. like they've missed out in certain ways. So I think it happens to to a lot of people. But I think there are things that you know people that we spoke to that have been to prison feel like they're playing catch up, yeah. and I guess that's what we wanted to explore. For real, uh, we wanted to uh, ask you guys if you ever felt like you were playing catch up when you got out. And what were you playing catch up with? Mm. So we asked this question on our social media, uh, on Insta. And uh, this poll revealed that uh, after leaving prison, did you feel like you felt, ca did you feel like you were playing catch up? And a resounding 89% said yes. Yeah. Where have you got 11% that said no? So the conversations we had are reflected yeah. um, in, and, like, on the socials. And I definitely do think that you feel it more mm. when you get out, like as soon as you get out. And then obviously now mm -hmm. the things that I'm talking about might be because of prison, might yeah. not be. Yeah. Um, but yeah, let's hear what they had to say. So yeah. somebody said, seeing all my mates at uni or abroad in countries I can't go to is horrible. I feel like I'm stuck here. Mm. The abroad thing, isn't it? Mm -hmm. That's like a, a sense of freedom, isn't it? When you just get on that, yeah. that plane and go. Yeah. Or a boat. Both. <laughs> or wherever. So I completely relate to that. Um, and you, you touched on the uni thing. Do you actually feel like you missed out? Yeah, I actually do. Because, you know, every, like, not, not saying everyone goes to uni, a but it's something I would have liked to But experience. I think, like, a lot of people have very different experiences at uni as well. True. I went for two years and I just wasn't, I w it wasn't the same as experience as a lot of people have. Like okay. I wasn't having a very good you didn't time. Like it. I don't. I just don't think I was mentally like completely happy anyway. Okay. So I think being at uni was just making things worse. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> and I wasn't getting the grades. I didn't pass second year. So okay. it, it it was time to just stop. Fair enough. So. Some people don't have a good yeah, time there. It is. It varies for different people. Yeah. But I would have, it's something I thought, because mm, I, I you know it is. I thought yeah, I was going to go. It. I thought I was going to go there. What was you going to study? Psychology, sports psychology. Oh. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But Interesting. Yeah. What, okay. else, what else are they Somebody saying? Somebody else said, when in prison, your life is on pause. I went first time when I was 18. Yeah. I mean, it does feel like it is on pause. And I was saying pickle juice. Yeah. When I say pickle juice, I mean the pause. Yeah. Like it, it's your life on pause. 
And the world you remember is the day you went in. But the day you get out, it's t- so much changes, even in six months or a year. Yeah. So imagine after a couple of years, do you know what I'm saying? So yeah. you've got that feeling. Um, yeah. And somebody else said, I think you only feel like that when you put yourself under pressure. Yeah, I love that one. Whoever because sent that, big up yourself. It is times. true. It's very true. Like I said earlier, a lot of people that don't go to prison feel like this because they're just putting themselves under pressure. And that is essentially what we, what we did and what we're doing. Mm-hmm. Um, it's just hot. It's, it's, life can be tough, you know? Yeah. It's just hard to, but yeah. as long as you know you're working on it, I guess that's all you can really do. That's um, for real. That's true. But to, to share these with everybody, um, just know you're not alone. You're not alone. Uh, there was a couple more that people sent in because um, obviously we asked people to just add a little context to their poll um, choice. And someone says, um, I feel like I'm constantly playing catch up in regards to salary and pay. Yeah. Like, you know what you mentioned that I think I feel well. like that's a big one because a lot of people, a lot of people I keep talking about this, yeah. <laughs> but you know, they'll set aside maybe like a few years and be like, right, I'm just making, I'm just, I'm just making craft. money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, 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 I'm picking a random number right now, but I'm 23. By the time I'm 25, I'm going to have like this much. Mm. And I feel like if you do miss out on years of that, you, it's, it's, it's clear why you might think you've missed out on a few years of making money yeah. and stacking money. Yeah, especially if you've gone to prison and you've spent time away where you could have been earning a salary, you could mm. have been in a job, steady income, all of that. It and you're not up. making any money. It's, it's more frustrating because when you're inside, the amount you get paid. Yeah. Yep. That I think, yeah. Yeah, so it contributes. Uh, someone else said, I felt like I was behind financially again mm-hmm. and thought uh, I was behind in my relationship with my daughter. So I get that. Mm. That I think that one more. That's probably like one, that's the most important one, really. Yeah. The the relationships that you might feel like you're behind on. True. Uh, what one thing as well oh. talking about relationship that comes to mind is, I didn't see my mum for one prison sentence. So when I got, out, I was like, oh, I can see my mum's aging. Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? And yeah. I was like, okay, damn, I've been away a little while. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So that's something significant as well. It just came to my mind. And I guess like with. Those kind of ones, you know, there's sadder stories than that, you know? Oh, yeah, yeah, of course. And that must be super tough to like, to, to, to deal with, um, and to, and to get over. Um, yeah. And there's one more, uh, which is on the family vibe as well. Uh, and this gentleman says, it's been hard reconnecting, or yeah, that's it. It's been hard reconnecting the bond with my grandkids after my wife, their grandma, has been, uh, play in both roles. Oh, yeah. So yeah, like, these family ones are more emotional, aren't they? Don't worry about the money. Yeah, the money, <laughs> the don't money mean comes nothing. and goes. No, but that's that, and that goes yeah. to show that's not the most significant thing. Yeah, definitely. You know? Um, after hearing those as well, thank you so much for sending that in. If you did, um, and of course, if anybody else has got anything that they wanted to share with us about playing catch up, please get in contact with us. But more to the point, if anybody has got any ad- advice for anything that we've mentioned um, or anything that uh, other people have mentioned, then please get in touch with us. We know that it will really help people. Um, so yeah, drop us a DM on Insta and X at After Prison Pod. TikTok is Life After Prison Pod. Um, of course, you can email us at podcast at prison.radio. And if you're inside prison now, then please get in contact with us uh, via NPR the normal way. Yeah, for real. We look forward to hearing from you. And what we're going to do now is hear from our boy Nico, a.k.a. Nick the Great, uh, our colleague at uh, National Prison Radio, who's going to explain why he feels he's playing catch up. Yes, Zach, what's going on? It's Nico here. Yeah, just to answer your question, most definitely, you know, ever since I've been released from prison, I feel like I've been playing catch up ever since, to be honest with you. And, you know, it's it's only been six months now. And I think that I've actually reached a point where I might actually be where I need to be. and I'm no longer playing catch up. Um, a couple of the things that I've been playing catch up with, number one was finances. Um, there were a couple of things that I hadn't got sorted before I went to jail. And whilst I was in jail, there was a backlog. So I've only just kind of been keeping up with that now. Uh, another example would be getting a job, getting something that I mean, I enjoy doing and I'm passionate about. It's extremely important for me. So, 
yeah, now I feel like there's a, there's a, a sweet symphony in that area of my life. And another, one last thing I'll drop in there as well is my creativity. Being inside or limited to how much you can explore your creativity and what you can do with it. So now, you know, I've been playing catch up with that. I had so many ideas whilst I was in jail and I was like, all right, when I get out, I need to execute this, execute this, execute this. But, you know, it's not always as straightforward as you make it out in your head when you're when you're sitting in that cell all day. So, yeah, now I'm in a good place, but it's taken me six months. But, you know, praise to the most high. <laughs> I am where I am now. It's a blessing. <laughs>